gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. And man, I really appreciate everybody tuning in for today's uh, second competition day report from uh, Kentucky Lake here in the Toyota Series Tournament. Going to give you guys a complete rundown how my day and tournament went, and um, hopefully it can help you guys catch some fish down the road. Um, real quick, guys, before we get started, I just want to invite everybody to please swing by fishthemoment.com and check out our lake map breakdowns. <clears throat> we got all of our spring maps up on the website now, uh, including Kentucky Lake here. Gets you some good spots on Kentucky Lake. And uh, these have, every one of these breakdowns, we give you 40 GPS waypoints and tips and advice on how to fish them and duplicate them. And also, if we don't have a, a lake on the website you're looking for, you can book a virtual lesson with me and we can go over it and I'll give you guys all the info you need on any lake across the country. So but I'll put the Fish the Moment link in the description here. Okay, guys, second day report here. Um, if you guys saw the report I did yesterday, uh, super frustrating day. I should have had a solid bag of fish. Um, I had I, I hooked six keepers. I actually had them on, fighting them to the boat. And lost four of the six and only weighed in two fish. Should have had 14 pounds if I'd have got them all in. So I dug myself a pretty good hole, middle of the pack, uh, heading into today. Today I knew that I needed to catch a big sack of fish. So that was what my plan was. Now yesterday, I'll, I'll tell you guys how I caught them. I started out yesterday, <clears throat> I caught two on the Mega Bass Magdraft. I was basically fishing Main Lake Rocky Banks with it. And um, the wind came up super hard and almost too hard to fish it on the main lake and i moved back into the pockets and i started fishing a floating worm uh, sort of just going through you know typical spawning type areas and i wound up losing those four uh, good fish on the floating worm which is typical it's it's common on a floating worm because a lot of times um the, when a, when the bass bites a floating worm they have to get it just right to get hooked a lot of times and sometimes they're hesitant and they get part of it and sometimes you got the worm bunched up in their mouth and uh as it turned out you know i lost all the every good fish that had that hit me on it so i knew that just from what i saw in practice and what i saw in the tournament i knew the floating worm fish they were basically there, were, there there was basically males up there you know i didn't see any big females up there so i made the decision today knowing that i had to have a 17 18 pound bag of string a bag of fish to get caught up <clears throat> i made the decision to stay out and fish the big swim bait all day long and that's what i did i didn't throw the float floating worm hardly any at all and i felt that if i stayed with the big swim bait i'd have a, a good chance to to catch a good bag so Anyway, right off the bat, conditions this morning, it was raining all day long. I was, I'm, it feels so good to be dry now, soaking wet. By the way, I've never found a rain suit, guys, that ever keeps me dry in a hard rain all day long. If you guys have, uh, I don't know what it is, but I have yet to found one. So anyway, um, raining all day long, cloudy and windy. So I started out right off the bat, you know, I caught a good keeper right off the bat in the mag draft. I went around to the next bank that I'm going to and catch another good keeper. So first 20 minutes, I got two nice keepers in the boat and I pulled my third stretch on there and I'm fishing down this stretch and I'm reeling the mag draft in and it's about probably 10 foot away from the boat. And I, I can't even remember what I was doing now. There was something that had, had come loose on the deck and I reached down to, uh, uh, you know, f find out what the deal was. And I had my rod in my left hand and all of a sudden I felt the rod tugging and I set the hook like that and my bait came back and guys, there was a gigantic boil in the water. It was a giant smallmouth. I pitched right back in there. The fish hit it again. I set the hook and turned it, cranked it about two or three cranks with the real handle and it came off and the mega mega bass tail was wadded up on the hook you know the, the fish had got the entire bait in its mouth wadded the hook up over on it and came off and i have no doubt this was a big smallmouth, like a four four pound plus class smallmouth, which would have been my third fish just a freak deal i just i i what's the odds of that thing hitting when i wasn't even looking at the bait before so um so right off the bat, the first 30 minutes, I'm pretty optimistic. So I've had a big smallmouth on and got two keepers in the boat. And then we started fishing, you know, all through the rest of the stretches I was fishing. And about probably another hour into the day or so, 
back on this different se section of Rocky Bank and I'm reeling the mag draft through there. One pounds it like that and I set the hook, guys, and it's like setting into a freaking ton of potatoes. This was a super heavy fish and I'm fighting the fish. I've got it, I've got it about probably five feet away from my hooked it and my rod's all bowed up and I can tell this is another big smallmouth. The thing just pulls off underwater. So it's like, God, you gotta be kidding me. You know, that'd been four right there with two really solid ones like that. So this was about probably 11 o'clock or so in the day and just started running the same stuff. Stayed on the main lake um, about another probably two hours later in the day. I hooked one about two and a half pounds and it jumped off. So as it turned out, I had, um, let's see, uh, one, two, three. Yeah, I had, I cut, I had three good ones on. I had three, three good fish on and lost three, caught two, would have had a limit on that. So as it turned out, I only caught those three. No, I, I'm sorry. I caught one of the keeper later on. So it gave me thir a third one. I forgot about that. So uh, at the end of the day, I weighed in three fish that weighed six pounds and something. Uh, highly disappointing. But guys, here's the... the overall story of the tournament it's like and this is what you can remember and take away from this even though i finished middle of the pack in this tournament it was highly disappointing i had the fish on to be fishing tomorrow i had the fish on to make the cut i mean i had a solid 14 pounds today if i, if I figure both of the say both of those big smallmouth that were hit were just three and a half pounders a piece that gives me another 13 14 pound bag be in the top 20 top 30 in the tournament if i just landed all the bites so one of the things to remember if you guys are having if you have a bad tournament or if you're you have a bad day or something on the water give yourself credit for generating the strikes because even though it doesn't show it in my tournament performance here i know in my own mind that i figured the fish out i figured the bait out i figured the presentation the angle everything i generated the strikes I just didn't get the fish in the boat and that that does not it, it yeah it makes a big difference as far as get, winning money or not and how the standings and how the everyone perceives it but in your own mind it's like i come away from this tournament i'm frustrated i lost the fish but i'm also it gives me confidence that i figured out how to put myself around a decent bag of fish both days which i did just did not execute. I, I, and it's not just me. I mean, the, there's, I'm sure other guys lost fish in the tournament, but I think one of the things about it, one of the reasons that there's two reasons I think I lost so many, so many fish in this tournament. Those floating worm fish yesterday were, those were largemouth, and they were, I think those fish were probably bedding and or getting ready to bed. They were real tentative. I don't think they got the bait real good. I've seen that happen before. It was also it was sort of bright out. There wasn't much clouds. They were just hesitant. They were in shallow water and they just didn't get the bait real good. And I think one of the reasons I lost those three big smallmouth today is that mag draft is such a big bait and those smallmouth have such small mouths that I think a lot of times they just don't get hooked good. I think they they annihilate the thing, but their their mouths are so small that you you can't get them all the time because there's there's a one treble hook in the mag draft and it's a big, you know, sick over six inch bait. So there's a lot of potential for the fish not to get hooked with those things. So that's sort of my uh, deduction on that. But overall, I'm super frustrated with the result of the tournament. I'm happy with figuring these fish out and putting myself around position. I knew I had the top 20 fish hooked. I just didn't get them in, but that's just tournament fish, you know, that's the way it goes. So anyway, guys, I hope you all learned something from it. Much appreciated you guys uh, watching all the videos this week about the tournament. And um, like I said, shoot me some comments. If I can help you guys out any, I'd be glad to do it. So thanks for tuning in. See you.